What's good everybody? It's JD and I'm back with another build video over here on NBA 2K22 Next Gen. I know it's been a little while, I've had some stuff going on behind the scenes, but I wanted to stop in and, and show you guys this build that I've been playing on most recently. Uh, but first things first, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to drop a subscribe for me. That helps me out a lot. We're on our road to 500 subscribers. Uh, don't forget to drop a like that helps me out a lot it helps the video get seen by more people and then also drop a comment down below what 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 build have you been playing on that is the most fun that that you've had um, playing on a build whether it be on current gen or next gen um, this right here I made this build about I don't know a week week and a half ago and I've had so much fun playing on this build uh, shout out to my guy brutal sim for shouting me out in his video he made it uh, a Kevin Durant type video just a little while ago um, he made some tweaks to the one that I had here but I wanted to bring you the build that kind of inspired what he did um, the build itself is so glitchy as you can see I had to bring my own security but I'm gonna give you guys the secret sauce on how to make it why the build is so unique um, the build itself is called a two-way slashing shot creator and what makes this build so wild is as you can see it is six foot nine 190 pounds. It has a 7-4 wingspan. But what makes this build crazy is you get a 92 driving dunk, so you're getting all of the elite contact dunk packages. It has an 83 ball. I've got the arm sleeve on, as you can see, so I have an 81 three ball right now. You get gold bullet passer. You get an 80 ball control, so you're able to move and get all the pro dribbles on this build. Uh, being six foot nine is wild. You're getting a 74 speed with ball. And then on the defense, you have a good interior. Obviously, you can see a uh, good block. You're still getting 91 on the rebounds. So you're getting gold rebound chaser in addition to gold clamps, interceptor, inter intimidator. I mean, the build all around is phenomenal. You can play the big on it. I've been playing point guard in the rec on it. I've played the big in the rec on it. Um, it can move. It can dribble. It's a great build for the 1v1 court because it can move so well, it can shoot, it can defend. Um, being 6 foot 9, um, you get a lot of different options for the takeovers. So I've had a lot of fun playing on it myself. As you can see with the badges, I don't quite have my finishing badges maxed out yet, but with the additional badge points you get from the rebirth and from hitting uh, level 39 um, through the different seasons, I have 16 finishing, 26 shooting, 26 playmaking, and 35 defense on a six foot nine build. Let me tell you, as you can see from some of the clips in the intro, the build itself is wild. I've been having a lot of fun on it. Let's get into the builder and I'll show you how I made it. All right, here we are in the builder. And before we get into uh, showing you how to make the build specifically that I have now, I wanted to show you the stats. If you were to just go in and make the build uh, using the standard unit of measurement, um, so you're going to go shooting guard, um, 6 foot 9, 190, and 7'4 on the wingspan. And as you can see, that caps you out if you go the traditional route at a seven, or 86 driving dunk, 77 on the ball handle, 72 speed with ball, uh, 82 on the rebounding, and then 78 and 76 on the speed and acceleration. Um, so this is why you have to go the, the metric version to get the stats that I have on my build particularly. And I'm going to show you how to do the, the metric back and forth here real quick. Uh, a lot of you probably already know how to do this, so feel free to skip ahead in the video uh, to the part where we put on the attributes and go of that. But for those of you that don't know how to do it, um, first you have to go in, you have to create a new build. So you, you can still go with shooting guard. But you're going to have to go six foot three. You're going to go max weight at 220, and you're going to max out the wingspan. And then for the attributes, all you have to do is just put these on anywhere. Um, it doesn't matter, we're gonna come back in and adjust these. You just need to get the build to 99 overall. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna whip these on real fast. Uh, we're gonna max the build out. So now you see we're at 99. The takeovers don't matter. Just select whatever takeover. And then once you get to this screen here, you go to edit build. And then we're going to go back to the home screen. We're going to go to the settings. And this is where you're going to change the unit of measurement. You're going to go down and you're going to change it to the metric system. 
and then you're gonna go back into your builder you're gonna find the build that we were just working on and then you're gonna hit edit build you're not gonna change anything here and then for the height to get the six foot nine you need to go to 2.05 meters on the height we're gonna lower the weight all the way down to 85 kilos and we're gonna max the wingspan out at 2.31 this is the one that a lot of people have been making um, as you can see that gives you the 90 steel um, gives you the extra speed give the extra dunk um, but I'm gonna make a couple of tweaks to this I, I didn't want the traditional 6.9 metric I want to do something a little bit different with mine so I'll show you why I went the route that I did um, so again you gotta go in here we're gonna max this out doesn't matter where you're gonna put these attributes because we're gonna go back in again and we're going to adjust them you just want to get the build to 99 overall so we're just maxing out all of these stats to get it up to a 99 and then we're gonna do the same thing we did before takeovers don't matter and then we're gonna do the very similar process as, as we just did we're gonna go to edit build we're gonna go back into the main menu again We're going to go down to features and settings and we're going to go back and change this back from the metric system to the imperial system once again go back into our builder i know stick with me we're almost there we're going to find our build we're going to edit the build again we're not going to change any of this information and then right here's where we're going to make a couple of the minor changes we're going to take the weight up to 190 and I'm going to drop the wingspan to 74. As you can see by going 74 on the wingspan, that still gives us a very high driving dunk. As you can see it's capped at 95 as opposed to the 86 if you went the traditional version. Now we can get an 80 ball handle on this build. Um, you can still get a good steal and perimeter defense and everything. Um, as you can see the rebounding now we can get 91 rebounding which gives us the gold rebound chaser and you get 79 and 78 on the speed and acceleration now the traditional one that a lot of people have been doing is this version here with the, the longer wingspan gives you the 90 steel um, with the, the passing lanes and everything being nerfed a little bit I, I didn't see the need necessarily to have the Hall of Fame interceptor even though it's great to have don't get me wrong but I wanted to have the 83 ball and the 80 ball handle on this build just to be a little bit different. I mean, at 6'9", this is probably as close as you're going to get to like a, a Kevin Durant type of build. Um, so this is what we did. 6'9", 190, 7'4". And I'm going to show you how I applied the attributes. We're going to go 67 on the close shot. We're going to go 73 on the layup. And then we'll go on 92 on the driving dunk, which is going to give us all the, the elite contact dunks. It's going to give us the Hall of Fame, uh, Limitless Takeoff, Gold Posterizer. You're going to get all the contact dunk packages, so you're going to be able to do a lot with this build. We're going to max out the three ball at 80, and then I took the mid range up to 83. Reason for that, as you can see right here. I wanted to get the gold hot zone hunter and you have to have an 83 mid range in order to do that and then for the free throw I went 71 that's gonna be more than enough to be consistent if you're playing rec or pro-am or anything with this build on the pass accuracy we're going 85 we want the gold bullet passer we're going to max out your ball handle at 80, which is going to give you all the pro dribble moves. Um, you're not going to get, obviously, the 6-4 and under, a couple of those animations, but you're going to get all the other good dribble moves. So you're going to be able to move around really good with this build. And then we're going to max out our speed with ball at 74. On the defense, this is where things got a little, you can kind of mix and match what you want to do with the attributes. I went 91 on the defensive rebound, so I could get the gold rebound chaser. 
I went 80 on my offensive rebound. I went 88 on my block. I went maxed out on my steal at 87. Perimeter defense, we're going 86. And now this right here alone is, is pretty solid, but I wanted to max out my defensive badges because I wanted I want to play the big in the park on this build. Um, you could go small ball, play big in the rec even with this particular build. So for me, I put some interior defense on here. Um, I went 69, no, I went 70, sorry. It gives you the, the bronze post lockdown. And then you also have bronze brick wall as well too. So build itself is very good. The badge spread is very good. As you can see, 16, 24, 25, and 31. And then if you hit level 38, um, in any seasons here, or 30, whatever, 39, whatever that is, you're going to have the additional badges plus the, the badges that you get for your rebirth. Um, I put most of mine on my defense, and then I also put a couple on the shooting and, and one on the playmaking as well, as you saw in the intro. Um, and then just to finish things out, we're going to max out the speed, max out the acceleration. We're going 46 on the strength. We're going 80 on the vertical so we can get all of the, the contact dunk animations and everything unlocked. And then we're going to put the rest on stamina for 91. So as you can see, you can do a lot with this build. The, the attributes, the badge spread on it, it, it's so much fun to play on. Being 6'9", being able to move like this, again, with the, the contact dunks, you get the long athlete package. Uh, for your layups, you're getting gold hot zone hunter, you're getting hall of fame sniper, you're getting gold bullet passer, all the dribble moves. Um, you're still getting gold clamps, you're getting gold interceptor, gold intimidator, gold rebound chaser. I mean, the list goes on and on and on with the things that you can do with this build. Um, and I've had so much fun on this build. So if you're looking for something to do, mix it up, have a little fun on next gen. You know, I strongly advise trying a build like this. Um, you won't regret it. And then for the takeover options, it gives you shot creator takeover. Sharp takeover, lock takeover, and then even glass clearing takeover. So if you're going to play the big in the wreck or whatever, the glass takeover is nice to have. Um, otherwise, for me personally, I've been using extreme clamps, and then I've been kind of mixing up the second one a little bit. A lot of times I go with the limitless range. Uh, if I'm playing in the wreck, it's, it's nice to have. And then as you can see, we've made a two-way slashing shot creator. Shades of Kobe Bryant, Jalen Brown, and Clay Thompson. I would say best shades of this build would be more like a KD type of build. So there you have it. That's the, that's the build I've got right now. My, my quote unquote glitched 6'9 with the pro dribble moves, the gold rebound chaser, all of that good stuff. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you for sticking around. Uh, don't forget to like the video. That helps me out a lot. So if you're new, and that's all I got for you today, I'm out. Peace.